morning on this Tuesday. Hello, Tiff. How was your long weekend? Oh, it was wonderful, relaxing. Thanks for asking. We went um, we went up north to Eagle River and then actually took a trip up to the UP, which was another long drive, but so worth it because we went and saw waterfalls. Isn't it gorgeous up there? Oh, I had never been. This was that was the first one. That was now uh, Nawadaha. This one um, here is, I think I'm going to say that right. The other one was Manobezo. This one, I loved this one. I forgot the name, but I was able to kind of get up close. Now this one, see that bridge up there? Yeah. Okay, that bridge. So this was an old logging river. This is Agate Falls, if people have been there before. We were able to go up on that bridge. It's now a snowmobile trail, but it was built in like nine, or 1899. How cool is that? Whoa, that's got some yeah. history, huh? Yeah, so we were able to go up on the bridge, look down at the waterfall, then actually go down to the waterfall and get like pretty up close there. I don't know if you can tell, but it, I was very close. Not dangerously close, but very close. So it was it was actually really neat. I'd never done something like that here. Yeah, I think you get that far north and it's just all about the majesty of not just the water, the waterfalls, but the trees, um, the, yeah. the size of the rocks. It's it's gorgeous there. And, and you had a great weekend weather wise, too. Oh, it was perfect. Even though it was in the 60s, it, it was so hot. We were in T-shirts because the sun was shining on us and it was just beautiful up there. So it was a really good weekend. I enjoyed it. How was yours? It was good. Thank you. Now yeah. that it's Tuesday, it seems like it was a long time ago. But I read I something interesting in People Magazine that I absolutely love and had to share. And it's about Jane Fonda. You know, I'm fascinated by her and Cher, mainly because <laughs> right. of their age, because it's shocking to me when I look at them that they're actually older than me. Jane Fonda is 82, and she says she has fought the signs of aging long enough and now she is going to renounce plastic surgery and finally let her hair go gray. She said she said she got tired of the chemicals, the time, the money, um, uh, trying to keep herself looking this great, um, particularly the, the color of blonde she was. So she's swearing it off. I think she looks gorgeous right there. And you know what? Good for her. I think it's tough when you live in a, a place like Hollywood because there's just it's just a different world. It's not like, you know, here in Wisconsin where we're like, yeah, you don't need to do all that. Exactly. You know, she was a sex symbol in the 1970s. Mm -hmm. She's a two time Oscar winner. Um, she's she's incredibly established in her career. Three marriages, uh, many famous boyfriends, along with swearing off plastic surgery and letting her hair go gray. She is also and these are her words, closed up shop on men and on sex. She says she is complete with herself her children, her grandchildren and friends, no more ran romance because she just doesn't have time for it. Good for her. Hey, you do you, right? Everybody's right? got to own their own own space however they choose to. I agree. So I decided to share a couple pictures of local women or some of our favorite women who have let their hair go gray and they look absolutely fabulous. So first oh. of all, Carol Barrowman, I mean, you make fun we of me, We gotta Tim, love her. Because every time she's on, I, I talk to her about how great her hair looks. Every color looks awesome on her. Last year, she turned 60, decided it was time. She was exhausted. About two weeks after she'd get her hair dyed, she'd have to spray the roots. She said she wasn't worried about the color because, you know, her mom and her dad both have gone gray and have beautiful, thick hair because um, she knew. Yeah, they're like white, like platinum white. Exactly, and that's exactly what she said. She knew it would grow out white. A friend told her that she has signature hair now. She's bold and bright. And I think Woo! that's the best way to describe her. I told her, even though it's like she's gone gray, AKA like platinum white, I feel like she looks kind of like a blonde. So I always tease her. I'm like, are you having more fun yet? She's exactly. like, I am. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Same with Faye Wetzel. Faye went gray a long time ago, but I remember talking to her stylist. Well, my mom says every time she sees Faye, she looks younger and younger, which I agree. But I remember Faye's stylist saying years ago, she just rocks her haircut. The, the color adds to it. She also, I think, looks fabulous in every color. Bright colors, black, gray, white, whatever she puts on looks fantastic. Well, and I just love that, you know, she is a fashion icon here for women. And so she's setting trends and, and giving, you know, that, I guess, that okay, that acknowledgement that, hey, just, you know, go gray. Do what Absolutely. you want. Yeah. And I couldn't close out this conversation about going gray without including my mom, who looks like oh. a blind. 
Um, she let Hi, her hair Mama go gray, and she has the, the coolest tones. It looks highlighted, but she doesn't color her hair anymore. She did get some help growing it out, and I think that's a tricky part. When you go to grow it out, do talk to a stylist. But yeah. she looks phenomenal, especially in bright colors, but she can pull off anything. Isn't it funny? Like, I, I can't even remember what your, your mom looked like prior to being this color, because I just think it looks so natural on her. I think so, too. Thanks, Tiff. I appreciate that. Yeah. And because she's wearing red lipstick, I wanted to share this Andy Rooney quote. He said, a woman over 50 looks good wearing bright red lipstick. This is his quote. This is not true of younger women or drag queens. I personally think drag queens look great in red lipstick, but he's, I love that he says older women over 50 can pull off the red lipstick. I like, I love younger women in just red lipstick too and like a little bit of lash and that's it. Very plain faced. I just, I love a good red lip. So I do too. I don't care what age you are. Yeah, yeah you, you don't agree with Andy Rooney, huh? No, Not so no, I don't. All right. Well, here's our sound off question. It was fun to look at those pics. Would you ever let your hair go gray? We want to hear about it. I'm thinking about it because I'm tired of calling up those roots. Area. Uh, uh, okay, we'll see. Maybe when I get a, just a little bit older. All right.